Okay. So the course is three three five. Three three five. E T three three five. That means third year, third semester, fifth course. Third year, third semester, fifth course. It is, uh, this is the meaning of your code. And the course name is control system. Control systems. Control systems. Okay. It is actually a multidisciplinary course. That means if you do uh, study the electrical engineering or you do a study the computer engineering or or the any engineering course, then the this course will fit in between them. Okay. Because in the control system, you would require the electrical engineering knowledge as well as the uh, computer engineering knowledge like the if you want to make a robot then you need to implement the ai that means the artificial intelligence okay so where you will get to learn the artificial intelligence in the computer engineering okay so it is the interdisciplinary course it it fit it fits in between the uh, core course and the other courses. Okay. So it is a fundamental course for the robotics. If you want to go to the robotics, then you will need to understand the control systems. Okay. Just if you look at the any system, then you'll see you, you have to control it. You can control it. If you look at the lift. Okay. So you can control the lift. Or if you look at the uh, air conditioner by using the remote control so just look at the name remote control so you can control the device you can control the component remotely that is the remote control okay so the control system is important one if you want to study the robotics or mechatronics or something like that then it is fundamental course for you guys Okay, control system. It is not a difficult one. Uh, in the control system, you will have to learn uh, many block diagrams as well as some mathematical things. Little bit of theory. Okay, theory come. Uh, theory part is very little. Rather, I will show you uh, mathematical and block diagram things mostly. Okay, I'll go to the subject matter <laughs> later. Later part. But before that, I, I need to make sure the mark distribution. So far, what we have learned that in the pandemic situation, our course will go to the online, will, will run on the online. Since UGC have not decided when the university will open. So we think that this semester will also be run on the online okay so remember that since it is online so our system will be different from regular classes okay so let's see what what is going to happen the mars distribution let's write the mars distribution uh, text say mid Okay, midterm. Midterm has 20. So I can split it by 10 marks. Quiz plus 10 marks. Viva Vos. That is the midterm. Okay, that is the midterm. And the final final is 50. So how to split it? 25 Mars quiz. 
plus 12.5 bars viva plus 12.5 mars assignment or the case study now see that is the 70 mark and now project presentation project presentation 20 marks how to split it 10 marks presentation plus 10 marks report see that is our strategy So, Kadir Mohammed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you understand? Yes, sir. So, another 10 marks attendance, maybe. Uh -huh. That 10 marks, and, and you know the 10 marks is come, it comes from the attendance. So, it is, I can, it's no, no need to mention. Okay, you know already. Okay, so that is the strategy. Uh, so instead of taking the quiz, I am taking the presentation because it is easier to get marks in the presentation, right? Rather than the quiz and you are giving you are and you are attending two quizzes One is 10 marks for, for the midterm and another one is 25 marks for the final So uh, another extra quiz. I don't think it is so much necessary rather you just show your skill to make the project Okay, simple project, Arduino based, proje based project. Okay, so it will enhance your understanding. Okay, and and okay, that is our theoretical part. And let's discuss about the laboratory part also. Okay, so that is our theoretical part. That is our theoretical part. Now discuss about the lab. Okay, laboratory. In the laboratory, I think we'll use the few tools like the MATLAB. We'll use the MATLAB here. Or you can use another tool, which is the octave. That is the octave, MATLAB and octave. Okay. If you think that MATLAB is a large software, so we cannot use this one, then you can use the octave. You can download it easily from the internet. It is a simple one, octave. And I do like to code, do code in the octave. Okay, it is easy. And I'll show you in the lab that how to do code in the octave. Okay, so I'll show you the both of the tools, MATLAB and octave. Okay, in the lab. And here, lab mark distribution. I do not know what to how to distribute the lab marks. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll give you some uh, assignment in the lab for the lab and I'll take the viva and quiz maybe for the lab. Okay, that is the lab part, lab part, simple quiz. Maybe, so if, if, if I uh, split the lab marks, then we can write that. Uh, Let's write it. Say, <clears throat> uh, lab quiz. One lab quiz will be there, 20 marks. Lab Viva. It will be 10 marks. 30 marks, right? And 
live assignment. It may be <coughs> maybe fifteen or ten marks. Okay. Other attendance. Five or ten. Five or ten marks. I think if it, it, it is the lab strategy, it could be the live strategy. Live assessment means uh, I'll give you some questions according to the code. No, not like the conventional lab report, because here in the control system, I'll show you some code how to do some work. Okay, just you do it at your home and make the assignment. Then you submit it. And the uh, quiz and viva will also come from those understanding. Okay, so I think control system lab can be taken, can be taken using the online. It is not very difficult. Okay. Now, now I need to uh, need to know your opinion. One by one, please. Tell us, Mohammed. Everything clear? Hello? Hello, yes, Mohammed. Yes, uh, sir, I want to ask you all the sequences, uh, number of companies that uh, Some network problem I think you have. Yeah, how many chapters do you do? Oh, chapters. Oh, how yes, many sir. chapters? Yes. Okay. Uh, in the theory, in the theory, as far mm -hmm. as uh, I concern, uh, generally I go to the chapter eight and up to ten, chapter ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Uh, is it possible or not in the in this situation in the online? But we'll start. We'll see. Let's see how far we can go, we can move. Okay. But I'll give you the suggestion before the final, before the exam. Okay. Before the meet the A project. Then, no, no. The number of, of companies that we do. Uh, your uh, voice is not clear. <laughs> can you say again, please? Or you, you or you can uh, write in the messenger also. Okay, you can write in the messenger also. Oh, guys, you can make the another messenger group only for this course. Kadir yes, Bucho. Yes, sir. As came to the it. It's just a course. So if you make another uh, uh, messenger group uh, for this course. Then I can easily share the content with you guys. Okay. And this lecture I will upload in the I think YouTube on the YouTube. So you can check the link later. I think it is better to check on the YouTube. Yeah. Right. What do you think? Okay, sir, I sent you. I sent you. Oh, the book, book. Okay. I'll show you the book. Okay. In the next. Okay, so it is clear, I think, is this thing is clear. Okay, we know the attendance five to ten, uh, ten, uh, 10 marks, attendance is, is 10 marks and this is the mark distribution, other mark distribution. Let's look at the book, the conventional book. book. Uh, we have two book. Okay, actually multiple books, but uh, one book is uh, very common, which is the nice, Norman, Norman is nice. Control system. Control system. Norman nice. That is the our textbook. This book is our textbook. Norman nice. So I'll show you the soft copy. I have the soft copy of all books. Okay. 
those books are required for you guys so i can share you with the i think i i will give a link in the messenger group okay moreover mm -hmm. uh, i will open a uh, google classroom link okay so that you can upload the thing there okay guys sir so, uh, please bolo to dui ke ye kore din sir link diye dui ta boye din ha ha ami jogo asama ke sami shobai link diye debo upload kore debo okay sir okay i'll give you a link uh, using the mega okay the uh, google drive has limited uh, uh, space like 15 gb but uh, you can use the mega which is 50 gb 50 50 okay the space so you can use we can use the mega i have the mega link so i i'll give you that link to your messenger group okay okay now let's look at the book we can see the book also that is our textbook say that is our textbook norman s nice see this is a robot i think that is a robot if you do study the control system this book very precisely then you can you will be able to make the robot but it is not possible in a single course okay i cannot show you everything in the single course because we have the limited time but if you have this book and if you study hard then inshallah one day you will be able to make this kind of thing okay so that is the book uh, the name of the book is control systems engineering i have the sixth edition uh, my hard copy is in the campus okay that is the soft copy i have and i do not have the hard copy at my home i think uh okay oh now i i have the book okay i'll show you if i have so that is the book our control system engineering sixth edition that is our main book okay but we will use a uh, few more books to understand some uh, random topics but we follow this one okay see control system engineering sixth edition norman s nice is the california state polytechnic university ponoma pobona okay from that university this teacher john wiley and sons and okay <clears throat> chapters how many chapters will cover see in this book they have 13 chapter total 13 chapter okay in the iut uh, the islamic university of technology iut they covered the full book they covered the full book but in in the aib i think they cover almost 11 chapter okay not all but 11 10 to 11 chapter we also uh, studied the 11 chapter i think as far as i remember but what is our goal okay the <clears throat> we'll study the chapter 1 that is the introduction nothing about the introduction that is the introductory chapter and we'll see the chapter 2 which is the modeling in the frequency domain chapter 3 also we'll see modeling in the time domain chapter 4 time response and chapter 5 direction multiple block systems chapter 6 stability chapter 7 steady state errors chapter 8 root locus techniques uh and 9 10 11 12 uh i'll skip these chapters but i can show you the chapter 10 few things from the chapter 10 okay not all few things chapter 10 and if if we have time then 
I will show you the chapter 13, the digital control system. That is the modern control system. Okay, digital control system. If I get some time, so that is the thing. So mainly we will complete the chapter eight, and as a bonus, I will show you the chapter ten and chapter thirteen. Okay. So these two chapter, you will get the flavor of these two. So total, uh, almost 10 chapter, total 10 chapter, you will get the idea. Okay, but up to chapter eight, I'll try to complete all thing. Okay, so now, now let me split the uh, sequence for the midterm and the final. For the midterm, I will complete the chapter four, up to chapter four for the midterm. For the meet, we'll complete the chapter four, up to chapter four. And for the final, we'll start from the chapter five. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, then 10 and 13. Then 10 and 13, okay. So that is our plan, initial plan. I do not know if it is possible or not at the final run. Okay, see, so they have used the MATLAB here. And another tool is there, which is the live view. We do not have the access on that tool. Rather, we will use the MATLAB and the Octave. Okay, and we have another one, which is the SciLab. Okay, we have another tool which is the scilab scilab matlab and octave these are the three thing three tool uh, we can use in the lab okay See, here they mentioned the MATLAB. MATLAB. See, the MATLAB good tutorial, symbolic mat toolbox online. You can check these things on the online, okay? So if you go to, go to the online of this book, then you'll check these things. Okay. Root locus rules, derivations. We'll see the root locus on the theory. Time domain solution, DC motor, okay, consumption is okay. That is the online thing. If you need, you can check. Okay. So that is our book. That is our uh, important book. And we have another book uh, that is this one, Ogata. That is the Katsuhiko Ogata. Okay, Katsuhiko Ogata. Let me check another thing. Fifth edition Ogata. And I think another, there is another book. Don't know where it is. We, we have another book. Uh, when I will get this, then I will share it with you. Uh, 
because I don't know where it is. Lots of things are there. Okay, when I'll get, I'll show you. So that is the Ogata book. Ogata book, uh, Katsuhi ko Ogata, this is the fifth edition. Uh, from this book, uh, I'll show you a few things with you. These are the basic introduction to quantum systems, mathematical modeling of quantum system, how to model mathematically, okay and some mathematical mechanical system so we we can show you the mechanical system also because bo both are interlinked and we do not need the chapter four here uh few things from the chapter five or maybe from the chapter six and from the chapter seven okay not from the chapter 8. PID is required for the theoretical part, for the sorry, for the laboratory part. Okay, so we'll see a few things from this book also. Okay, that is the book from the Ogata Modern Control Engineering, fifth edition. Katsuhito Ogata. Katsuhito Ogata. Okay. Now, uh, let's look at the chapter one. That is the introduction to control system. Uh, let's see. Okay, that is our slide. Introduction to control system or control system introduction. So I have already discussed with you a few things like uh, the mark distribution as well as the how many chapters will cover. Okay, those, those things we have discussed here. Okay. So let's talk about the introductory part. Okay. Uh, that is the introduction that means that is the first chapter that is the first chapter what we are going to discuss See What is the control system? It is actually interconnection of components forming a system configuration that will provide a desired system response That means it is actually interconnection of components interconnection of components that is uh, forming a system okay see these are the things a control system has input output but inside it how the you will get the output if you put the input, then you get an output. Let's say uh, in the lift, you press the button three. Okay, you press the button three. As a result, lift door will be open when the lift will come. So you just press the button of three. So they are converting the this message this three to the instruction that the lift will come to the third floor okay or or you are in the ground floor or in any other floor then the lift will come to your point your uh, destination uh, your starting point then it will wait for you to move on okay so in between there 
there are something that happens. That is the process. Okay. A control system consists of subsystems, subsystems and processes or plants assembled for the purpose of obtaining a desired output. See, we need to get the desired output. So that is the control system, actually the basic control system. A control system consists of a subsystem and processes or plants assembled for the purpose of obtaining a desired output. To get the desired output, we need to assemble those things like the input, we have the input as well as the, we have output. In between, we should have the process or other thing. Okay, other parts we have to uh, uh, get together. Okay. So that is our fundamental thing of the fundamental concept of the control system. Okay. So this is the actually open loop control system. Okay. Now you'll see open loop and closed loop. Okay. Now I just look at the example. Response characteristics, see the elevator. That is the response characteristics and that the high you push the button, the lift will come to you. Okay. So that is uh, one kind of example for getting the lift at, the, at your position. Okay, another thing that is the elevator response. Just if you if you look at the thing as the graph, if we convert it to the graph, then what we'll see. Let's see, as the time uh, in increases, the elevator. Let's say you are at the fourth floor. Okay, if you push the button. Uh, then the ele elevator was in the first floor. It will come to your position at four. When? See, time will move. At that time, here at that time, it will come to the, at that position, at that time, see, at that time, here at, at that time, at that time, it will it will be on the fourth floor. See, there is a gap between the four between the four. See, that gap is called the steady state error. This kind of curve is known as the steady state response. Okay. We'll check this on the chapter seven. That is the response curve of the elevator. Okay, this curve is actually the response curve of the elevator. You push the button four and the elevator comes from the first floor to the fourth floor. In the meantime, it requires some time. That time is called the transient response. The time it requires, that is the transient response. Okay, when, when the, it becomes stable, then there will be some error with your input. Since it is a mechanical thing, so obviously there will be some error. That error is known as the steady state error. That little bit of error is known as the steady state error. Okay. So that is the response curve, elevator response curve. Okay. So elevator is our common example. We always love to give this example to you guys. Your elder brothers, we also give them to the same example and you are also getting the same example. Okay. So here it is the response curve of the elevator. Okay.
see what is the advantage of the control system what are the advantages some advantages are there like the power amplification we can amplify the power and we can use the remote control and we can convenience of input form we can change the input form and compensation for disturbances okay we can reduce the disturbances that is the advantage that that are the advantages of control system okay why do we need this for these things for amplification remote control convenience of input form compensation for disturbances these are the advantages of control systems okay and c that is the open loop control system open loop control system there are two kind of control system one is open loop and another one is closed loop okay open loop and closed loop today i will show you the basic of the open loop as well as the closed loop okay up to this i'll show you today okay So that is the thing. That is the <clears throat> open loop control system. Now see. the main thing is that is the thing here see here we are using the input here is the output if we look look at this thing that is the open loop see there is no feedback if i use the feedback Okay, if you use a feedback here, that is the feedback. That is the feedback. Okay, so we are not using any feedback here, so that is the open loop. Since there is no feedback, so that is the open loop, and the. in in this thing in this system there are three component one is controller actuator and the process okay uh, sometimes uh, the process also known as the plant okay so that is the desired output as we say what is uh, my target let's say i want to go to the fifth floor so i will push push the button 5 okay so my output target is the five and and in and finally it will move to the five so according to the input what is my target according to the input that thing will respond okay we'll see it later more so these are the things so here here is the definition an open loop control system utilizes an actuating device to control the process directly without using the feedback see what i i was talking about an open loop control system utilizes an actuating device to control the process actuator that that means the actuator to <clears throat> to control the process directly without using feedback so without using the feedback by actuator we can control the process okay 
So that is the open loop control system. So if I ask you what is the open loop control system, then you can use this definition also, as well as the this block diagram. Okay. And see, some open loop control system has some example uh, advantages like it is simple, inexpensive, faster response. These are one is like high statistical error, not immune to the disturbance. So it is, these are the advantages, simple, that is simple, not expensive, that means that it is cheap and it can respond very fast. The example of open loop control system is like the toaster. Toaster is the example of open loop control system. Uh, and it has some uh, disadvantages like there is a chance to get some error here, high speed state error, and it, uh, disturbance may happen. We cannot reduce the disturbance here. Okay, simple, inexpensive, faster response, high speed state error, not immune to the disturbance. Okay. And see, here is the closed loop control system. What is the closed loop control system? See, here is a feedback, that means the sensor. Sensor is here, sensor means the feedback. A closed loop control system uses a measurement of the output and the feedback of this signal to compare it with the desired input, reference or command. That means using the sensor, we can compare it. We can compare it. Okay, closed loop control system uses a measurement of the output and feedback, okay, of this signal to compare it with that desired input. Here is the thing that, let's say, let's say you put the value 3, you put the value 3, here the feedback will check, is it 3, is it 3 or not? If it is three, then the difference that is the plus, that is the minus, three minus three will be zero. So when the result will be zero, then you will get the actual output. Okay, so here the mechanism will happen. I am uh, pushing the button three and the feedback that is a sensor will check. Okay, the sensor will check it is three or not. If it is one, then the difference between three and one is two. If it is two, the difference between three and two is one. If it is three, the difference between three and three is zero. So that is the thing. So it will check the difference. As a result, we'll get the actual output based on the difference okay a closed loop control system uses a measurement of the output and feedback of this signal to compare it with the desired input reference or command okay so that is the reference that is our command and just check the components the desired output response here is the controller actuator process same thing like the open loop system but another thing is uh, added which is the sensor the new thing has been added here is the sensor which is which is the feedback it uh, check the actual output of this this feedback and the measurement output is here they just compare with each other okay so that is the closed loop control system that is a closed, closed loop control system and some uh, advantages of it like the it is the less sensitive to the noise and disturbances so uh, it is easy to get the no noisy low status error error is low and it is flexible it has the flexibility often by simple gain adjustment and sometimes by redesigning the controller okay and the disadvantages like it has the complexity it is a complex one it, it is expensive and it has the slower, slower response 
okay these are the disadvantages these are the advantages and these are the disadvantages okay that, that is that is the disadvantage of closed loop control system complexity expensive and slow response okay uh, this is the thing the feedback feedback is a key tool that can be used to modify the behavior of a system so using the feedback you can modify the behavior of the system okay how it will behave okay this behavior altering effect of feedback is a key mechanism that control engineers exploit deliberately to achieve the objective of acting on a system to ensure that the desired performance specifications are achieved okay and uh, let's look at the some example where are the examples let's check this I don't know what is this. Okay, some examples are there. See, the open loop control system examples like the toaster, additive amplifier, mechanical system. Okay, these are the example of open loop control system, and these are the examples of closed loop control system, like the computer control machines, autopilot aircraft, missile, industrial robots. Okay, these are the example of closed loop control system and these are the example of open loop control system. Okay, the two things are there. So those are the examples. So today I'm stopping up to this. Okay, so we will have to say many more things here in this. This is the chapter one. Okay. So we are in the chapter one. We are discussing about the chapter one here. We are discussing about the chapter one here. So open loop and closed loop system. Open loop system has no feedback. It has the actuator to control the, uh, to achieve the desired output. Okay, and the open loop system has some uh, advantages like it is simple it is inexpensive that means it is cheap and it is the faster response and disadvantages are like it has a high steady state error and it is not immune to the disturbance yeah and it it has no not immune to the disturbance and the closed loop system like a closed loop system uh, has a feedback system that means that it has a sensor and we use the sensor here and uh, some advantages like it is uh, less sensitive to the noise and disturbances and error is lower low steady state error at, at as well as the it is a flexible you can adjust the gain to get the desired output and the disadvantages are like it is a complexity expensive slower response okay that that are the disadvantage of closed loop system and some feedback are there like if it is a key tool that can be used to modify the behavior of a system so we can use the feedback to modify the behavior of the system and some examples are there uh, let's go to the example page okay some examples are like they're like uh, open loop control system example is a toaster additive amplifier mechanical system and closed loop control system like computer control machine autopilot aircraft and machine industry robots so you'll get the question like this uh, what is the open loop control system and what is the closed loop control system and what are the differences between them okay the difference uh, differences between the control system open loop and closed loop control system so uh, that is my target up to today's class and we have the book so i am at this chapter chapter one Okay, I, I, I am showing you something from this chapter, chapter one, then uh, one, one, one more class I will require to complete the chapter one. Okay, so I think uh, chapter four will require one class, chapter three will require one class, two, 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 four, maybe chapter 
two is a large chapter, it will require two or three class. Okay, chapter three, two is a large one. That is the thing. Okay. So I am stopping the sharing.